hello guys welcome back in today's tutorial we're gonna draw this 2d model actually 3d model in mastercam and then we're gonna do machining in second part so this is the first part of this tutorial so today we're gonna draw this geometry so let's get started first we're gonna go to our wireframe tab click over here and then select rectangle and then you can see over here in a drawing our outer rectangle is of 4 inch so let's get it 4 by 4 so make sure anchor to center is enabled so click over here and then click create another operation and then our second rectangle is sorry square is 3.5 so click over here change it to 3.5 both and click here and then create another one and then our third rectangle we're gonna draw over here is of two inches these lines so quickly go over here two inch two inch and then okay then click okay and now we're gonna draw our two inner circles which is of diameter one inch and other one is of 0.75 so click over here go to our circle diameter 1 inch click ok and then create another circle diameter 0.75 yeah 0.75 and click ok and then you can see over here our mostly profile is done and now we're gonna create these radius for that we're gonna create four circles on a corner so let our outer circle is of diameter you can see over here 0.375 so click over here to the circle make our diameter 0.375 sorry it's a radius 0.375 click over here to all four corner of this square not this this and then this click ok and now we're gonna use fillet identities to make it radius which is of 0.125 is you see over here click ok and now we're gonna use our fillet identity tool path where our radius is 0.125 make it to normal click over here and then here click over here and then here click over here and then here click here and that's we're gonna do all four sides not actually here and you can see over here it just started looking like the same geometry now we're gonna create the inner inner same shape for that we're gonna use a new trick which gonna be we're gonna go to transform and then click on chain and we're gonna hold shift and then select this chain and then click ok and now we're gonna select indicate the offset directions which gonna be inside so click over inside and then over here make our distance to 0.125 yeah you can see it changes over here 0.125 and then click ok and then select all clear colors and over here you can see our 2d drawing is created now we gonna do that 3d for that let's go to view section we're gonna create another level which gonna be of solid so click over here add level name it solid and name the first one sorry name the second one solid and then name the first one wire frame and you can see over here is visible wire frame and here nothing is visible in solid but now we're gonna create it and then later on you're gonna see over here our solid is created so now make sure this tick 
is over the solid as we are going to make solid now so cancel it and then we now we're gonna go to solids create extrude and then click on the outer rectangle click ok and then our depth gonna be of 0.75 inches so put over here 0.75 opposite directions so click ok and now select inner rectangle square click ok and now cut body and change the distance to 0.5 as you can see it changes so click ok now we're gonna go to transform tab click on translate then select the these chains then end selection change it to move to z 0.5 gonna be over negative 0.5 and you can see over here this moves to then 0.5 and now again go to solids create extrude select these two chains while holding shift key click ok and now we're gonna click on add boss so which is gonna be of 0 0.375 0 0.375 and then create another boss select the two inner circles which left click ok and now its distance gonna be 0 0.25 and then click ok and then select all by control or control a and then clear color and now you can see we are our 3d model is almost done but we see over here we see the wireframe how we gonna hide it we open our view click on levels and now you can over here visual wireframe so you can see over here now only solid is selected and if you go over here and then take this and then you can see our wireframe is only left so from here click on to make it invisible you can see over here our 3d model is made and now in our second part we're gonna do machining of this model for that please check my next video i gonna attach a link in description so follow up over there for the machining of this part thanks for watching guys see you in next video